YouTube. Yo, man, I know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, man, you know what it is. We're back at it again, man. But, um, yeah, so I'm picking up this load right now. Uh, I'll tell you guys exactly what's been happening to Chez, man. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, man, Chez, where you been at, man? What are you doing, man? Where's the videos at, you know? I've been getting a lot of these comments. I get a lot of DMs like, yo, are you still alive? Blah, blah, blah. And yo, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been real, yo. Summertime, it ain't playing. But let's go ahead and um, drop this trailer at this door 21. That's where they wanted it. So let me just open and uh, open my trailer. You know how it is, man. We're just out here grinding, bro. Ain't no stopping from here. <clears throat> so a lot of you guys been telling me to, uh, you know, stop skipping like a lot of stuff that I do. Oh man, I didn't even notice this. Look at this, guys. It's not even a hook, so uh, we'll make it work somehow. I hope that would hold it. <laughs> but I'll tell you guys what's been happening, man. As soon as I get this load, so you know, there's there's something to talk about while I'm driving. All right. Door 21. 21, 21. First thing of the day, you guys could see me back. What? What is? What is this, man? Y'all, y'all can watch Chess back it up, man. I think I didn't back it up enough, or I didn't go forward enough. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, should be good right here. I was too close to the far left. That's what I get for showing off. Huh? Watch your tandems. Oh, look at that. Look at that, boys. Sometimes I just surprise myself, man. Ah, uh, we're a little bit too. Oh, we're off. It's all good. Not too bad. What's that noise? It's like alarm. So our load is actually not a, uh, it's not a live load, but it's a preloaded. Oh. There you go. Bump into the dock, just like that. Um, yeah, our load is preloaded. I already got my um, bill of lading over here. Uh, they just wanted these, this trailer. Uh, door 21 I think it's gonna get loaded, you know Good trade Let's leave that there
how you do it, man. That's how you do it. All right, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be a long vlog because you know your boy's been gone for for a very very long time. I know my last video, I said that uh, I'm gonna start making videos again, but man, I'm telling you, <laughs> oh, I've been just caught up with uh, just busy, you know. It's just been busy, man. That's all I gotta say. Right. Drop that bad boy. Let's get out of here. Bam. Just like that. And preloaded trailers. They're usually in the back. So that's where we're going. Alright guys. This is what's been happening to me, alright? Remember when I said uh, my driver leader quit? Yeah, my driver, my new driver leader, man, she's awesome. She's like, she's great. You know, your boy hasn't really been sitting around. I have, like, you know, dude, there was a week that I did. I did 4,000 miles. Yo, I know, I know. 4,000 miles, Chaz, are you serious? Yep, I did it, bro. That was for the record. I'll never forget that week. It was nicely, I don't know, it was just a good week, you know? But overall, honestly, it's not worth doing 4,000 miles, you guys. I mean, especially if you live in California, you're just working for the government, honestly. Your gross, it's very high, right? And then you take your take home, man, they really just take out like half of that, more than half, if anything. It's crazy. So, I noticed, you know, this couple weeks that I've been running really hard, the sweet spot is about 3,000 miles. You pass over 3,000 miles, I'm, I'm just basically working for the government. <clears throat> so it's not that worth it, honestly. But let me just look for this trailer real quick and I'll continue with my story. Yes, yeah, so we're picking up a R20 422, which is a 2020 trailer. That's lit. 422. 529. We gotta see this yard guy back in. But, <clears throat> yeah, I was saying, I've been busy. So, I was saying 3,000 miles is the good spot because it's a lot of miles, it's good enough miles to make where I can make over a thousand dollars um I'll make sure I can you know make a video on that uh definitely gonna do a six month review with the same thing as the three month with the paychecks so you guys could definitely see big difference of what I was earning with my old driver leader versus with my new driver leader yo it's crazy I didn't know like it's actually you know the driver leaders control how much you actually make so you know man there's there's just like i just keep on learning and learning and learning you know so definitely man uh if you're at swift and you're having trouble getting miles it's most likely going to be your driver leader fault because i mean there's really big difference between uh driver leader wants uh you know giving you loads and versus you know a driver leader gives you like three days to do a 600 mile load it's crazy this looks like ours this is the only yep r2 0422 just double check yep this is like the first time man this is the first time i pick up a preload and it's a new trailer. It's always the old one when I pick up. So it's kind of nice just to pick up this nice one. Ooh, damn. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. All right, we're good. Tuck test is good. Look at this bad boy. This is what I like. This is what I like pulling, man. New trailer right here. And we're gonna be doing this load using the Zonar. So that's gonna be interesting. I haven't done a video with the Zonar. Oh man, this thing is stuck. It's heavy maybe. Man, sometimes I gotta use two hands, bro. I don't know if I'm weak or, or what. Oh, this thing is loaded, I bet. All right. Woo. does not deliver until tomorrow though tomorrow night and it's only 600 mile load uh i feel like they're giving me bad loads every time i come home oh man that's good yeah so what i noticed what why do they keep doing this man this is ugly let me go inside you guys let me catch my breath this landing gears, man, they make you work out. All right, what was I saying? Oh, so this week is not really starting pretty good. Uh, like already, like right now, Tuesday, well, yesterday, I did a 34 I had to I, I was kind of forced to do a 34 because I don't know I mean I couldn't run on my recaps but for them it was it was just no hours for them you know but anyways to this week is not that it's not that good because I'm going home on Thursday <coughs> for my uh, for my mom's birthday so it seems like every time I come home you know that week that you go home they're just not gonna give you a good load because I don't know it seems like they give you a they give you a sign where they're kind of telling you yeah that's what you get for going home in a way it's like that uh, I asked my friend too you know he feels the same way I mean every time he comes home he just gets a gets a I don't know not uh not attractive load you know but yeah that's that uh yesterday what I did I was actually off for kind of like two days I was kind of mad about it but I couldn't really do anything about it so the truck man you know what I'll talk about this after uh, I do my loaded call because I feel like um yeah I could just talk about this while I'm driving right so I'll be right back let me go ahead and um just put everything on the uh, zonar and I'll catch you guys in a bit I got everything sent already 16 32 not 32 i just did a free trip earlier uh 16 and loaded call so we good let's get out of here so the guard truck actually you know handles the bill of lading so if it's preloaded then you're good to go you don't even have to go to the um shipping office which is over there and i kind of hate going in there because there's this lady and she has an attitude boys yep she acts like she hates her job for real for real man am i blocking this is bad yeah let me go ahead and um just check out with this uh guard shot all right guys we out of there uh <laughs> i was coming out of the guard shack there was one problem that I um, encountered. So I don't know if some of you guys actually encountered this problem before, but it seems like 
Um, it's a very common problem with the glad hands. So I connected my glad hands and the red one, the seal, the, the seal on my red ones, um, I thought it was missing a chunk of uh, the rubber seal. You know, the thing that arounds it. And, and so if that chunk is like missing on the glad hands, your air will just leak out. So you'll hear this like loud hissing noise. At first I was like, what is that, right? So I knew it was my airline. So that was like the first thing I checked with my glad hand. So, you know, I really, I um, released my, not release. I engaged my trailer brake and I took out the glad hands, the red one. And I checked, it was, um, it was my seal, uh, the rubber thing around it. And the other driver kind of helped me out because I didn't know like what was going on at first. And he was like, oh, check your glad hands, like check out the rubber seals. It might be, um, you might be uh, missing a chunk or it might have been like folded where, hold on guys. This is what I mean. I had to put myself on drive on the Zonar. It doesn't like automatically does it. So before I even leave the place, I'll make sure I don't drive because <laughs> you don't want to be actually driving on the street or freeway with just on duty. But yeah, anyways, he helped me out. So that was really nice of him because I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't know what to do. You know, I was like, um, what's going on? <laughs> so shout out to that guy, man. There's really uh, good drivers out here, I'm telling you. But all in all, he kind of just unfolded. I'm glad I wasn't missing the, the actual rubber because if I am, then I would have to go to the shop and get that fixed because, um, you know, that's not, I don't think that's good, bro. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it's all fixed now. Um, what was I talking about earlier? Man, this trailer is... It doesn't seem too heavy right now. I just put my route to my location. And we're fueling up in Pilot J. 153 miles. And then to our actual final, it's only 604. Definitely can finish that today, no doubt. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I was talking about my driver leader, right? So yeah, man, it's just been busy. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, who would not want a driver leader that actually makes you work, you know? because that's that's what i was been expecting since you know since i started but you know i thought i thought trucking was you know there's a lot of sitting and i thought that was just normal you know but when i was comparing how much i do compared to my friend that um you know she's been uh he's been having the uh the same driver leader which the one i have now and he's always telling me that you know he drives a lot he getting 3,000 miles and then man I, I just couldn't believe it because my driver leader doesn't do the same to me well my old one but man I'm just happy right now because uh I mean you'll see you'll you'll see my six month review with the uh, three month paychecks not three month well six months basically but you know I'm gonna start it where where I left off last time so you guys could definitely see the difference and also one thing man uh winter versus summer summertime it's busy y'all it's busy uh, I feel like we don't really run out of loads in the during the summer compare on the winter there's a lot of uh you know i mean i think like this is how i think because during the winter we have such a long time a long window to deliver stuff because i feel like they know how severe the weather is and how you can get stuck and and all that 
So in a way, they give you a, a very long time to deliver a certain load. Where compared to summer, summertime, it's usually one day window or two day window to deliver it. So there's a huge difference right there. So that's why I kind of been just running hard. And every time I just, you know, I just finish with my shift. Every time, you know, I just finished driving 10 hours or, you know, I'm just tired. I want to rest and stuff for my next load. Like I said, I, I'm just not been running lately and there's been a lot of uh, drop and hook as well. So that's really good. And also we've been, I don't know why, but I think we do help the dry van division a lot too during the summer. It seems like their dry van has more loads during the summer. I don't know. I don't know if that's so accurate or but I've been doing a lot of drop and hook dry van especially when I did that 4,000 mile week so yeah but like I said it's not worth doing 4,000 miles your check is not gonna look uh, that much of a difference compared if you were driving 3,000 miles because tax is a lot man the, the more money you make the more taxes they take it's just facts that's just how it is here Construction, construction. And I don't know if you guys remember. Well, you guys should probably remember because that was just recently. When I got my wisdom teeth uh, taken out, my wisdom tooths. <laughs> oh man, I got four wisdom tooth taken out, right? And then remember when I took the truck to the shop and the truck was actually at the shop for you know almost two weeks and guess what you guys <laughs> harupa valley come on man hey swift if you're if you're hearing about this talk to your harupa shop man i dropped off my truck for a and b service and all they did was install my zonar all right that is why yesterday or yeah yesterday i had to take my truck to Lathro terminal to get my A and B service. I was really shocked about this because I thought Harupa would actually do my A and B service since the truck was there for two weeks. And by that time, the truck was actually due for maintenance already, but they didn't do anything. All they did was install the Zonar, you guys. Come on. Come on, bruh. So, I was just sitting yesterday when I was, you know, I was ready to uh, get my next load, but I was stuck in the shop. Almost took like a whole day, all day, because I don't know what they did, but as far as I know, they did an A and B service. Pretty sure they did like oil chain and stuff and uh, inspection, and they also changed my my drive tires. Oh no, my steers, both of them. And they also told me that I needed an alignment. Man, the alignment, I think that's the one that actually took the longest. I don't know, but it did. But yeah, so that's that. I was gonna take a video yesterday, but like I said, I was stuck in the shop. I couldn't do anything. Did I tell you guys where I'm going? I'm going to, uh, going to Oregon city let's see let's say woodland avenue it's where is this at let's see oh it's very close to portland i have a feeling it's gonna be a tight backing <laughs> i should be able to deliver it today so you guys can see there's only 600 miles i'll get there like seven o'clock in the afternoon i hope it's not too dark so you guys could see everything. Can't I can't wait to go home, man. It's been I've been out in the road for exactly four weeks, and it's gonna be four weeks and five days, so almost five weeks. And I'll be home for four days. Pretty excited. And 
It's gonna be my mom's birthday, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. The only thing I don't like, um, giving my truck to the shop, they give it back to you so dirty, man. I mean, I think I mentioned this when I took it to get my AC fixed. Man, I don't know why, but they need to use some, I don't know, like, it's so, like, I don't know, man, it's a mess. Like, they use the same gloves, you know, to fix your truck, and they hop in your truck and touch everything inside your truck. Like, bro, you know how much grease they have in their, in their gloves? Yeah, before anything, oh, what's my weight? 41? Tandems all the way in. Should be all right. But yeah, man, so much grease on their on their gloves. Like yesterday when my my truck was done, man, I had to deep clean my truck. Like literally, like wiped off everything that they touched because it was just filthy. My I should have took a picture after you know cleaning my truck. Like all the wipes that I use. Man, there was like pure black. Like, it's just grease. It's crazy. I feel like they should have a... They should have like a separate glove. So when they go inside a um, driver's truck, they don't, they don't like kind of disrespect it, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of drivers here that keeps their truck clean. They don't want to be driving on the dirty truck. Come on kind of just makes sense they did the alignment and now I'm kind of like testing it because I know before every time I let go of the steering wheel the truck seems to go to the right more so I always have to like counter steer it to the left but now it's like no hands it just keeps going straight oh well the road's kind of messed up here but I was testing it back there <laughs> it actually works though like works really good so they did a good job though all in all and i try to watch you know like what they say you know i try to learn things about trucks as well because when i buy my own truck i want to be i want to be able to you know tell what the problem is and so forth you know the guy was showing me like the tires they look pretty bold on the outside like you can tell the truck was like shifting to the right for the most part because you can tell like the bolt like, i don't know if you it's the same thing for the cars you know when you you can tell if it's eating the inside or the outside that means like your alignment is just bad the like, tires should be worn out evenly if they're not, your alignment is pretty, you know, it's just off. And you gotta get that fixed because, I mean, unless you wanna spend a lot a lot of money in tires, then go ahead. But, eat that. When someone's merging, and then, you know, they, you got cars on the left side, I'm like, bro, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? This guy's running 50, bro. not even running the speed limit so I've been running 62 in California and I know I know I asked this question and a lot of you guys respond to it they said all you guys said 60 should be okay but honestly I've been running 62 I pass CHP all the time you know they pass me all the time and it seems like 62 is a sweet spot so ever since I've just been running 62. It's not too fast, not too slow. It's just right in the middle. And when I see a CHP, sometimes I just uh, lower it down to 61, maybe 60. But yeah, man, I'm just learning everything. Especially, I want to learn more about the in and out side of a truck especially when it goes to the shop man 
I really, really want to just want to get the same truck as I'm driving right now, a 2019, because I like I like the I like the style of the 2019 of Freightliner, but lower than that, I don't like the old school Freightliner. I mean, I heard they are more cheaper and reliable and more cheap on parts. But I don't know. We'll see though. I mean, if I have to get an old truck, I'm down. You know, it just depends on how many miles it is. I'm planning on getting no more than 400,000 miles on the truck. Because I'm looking to at least, you know, get that thing running until like 600,000 miles. Because by me getting 500,000 miles, that's like, that's kind of like on the edge where it kind of needs a new engine pretty soon. They said um, 500,000 miles to 600 is where the engine kind of peaks out to like it's almost dead. So I don't really want to start by doing that, by getting a truck that has 500,000 miles. I want to get something like 300, 350, somewhere around there. I mean, I know it's gonna probably gonna cost a little bit more, but it's gonna be definitely worth of spending that little um, little more amount because I mean it's gonna last you even more uh, you know I've just been saving up lately I really just cut off on a lot of spending the habits that I do and I still treat myself don't get me wrong you know, I just got like you know a little stuff uh, and then when it comes to food I cut down a lot so I was watching this guy on YouTube. I forgot why, how, how I end up uh, watching that video. But he said, if you want to be smart, you should only be spending 100 to 200 bucks a month on food. And you should be able to save up a lot from guys. I'm sorry, my, uh, my GoPro died on me. <laughs> um, I couldn't really switch it out, the batteries while I was driving. Uh, I got a call from my driver leader that um, she actually wanted me to T-call this load. So that's good news. Um, I let her know, you know, I'm I'm going to get there today. And I told you guys it's going to deliver tomorrow at um, 2100. And she was like, oh, I didn't know you're going to get there early. I was like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on now. It's me. <laughs> and so she was she was uh, pretty surprised that, you know, like i just been hustling lately and so she was like you know what let's go ahead and um have you t call that load to trotdale oregon and so i can get another load tomorrow so all in all that's good because you know i want to run as much as possible before i come home so you know my checks it wouldn't be too small but i know it's going to be small because i'm taking off four days so i mean the point of there i just really want to run so you know when i come back to work uh the check doesn't too uh doesn't look too ugly um right here right now i'm in oregon now uh to be exactly where i'm at i'm at grand pass oregon it's just one of the uh rest area here really nice very chilly uh but i head out soon though i only have actually my time is up right now so let's go ahead and um T call this load so we can just end our uh shut it down. Uh, approximately, we are 255 miles still, so about four hours, just enough time, honestly. Not too bad. All right, let's not forget to put ourselves on drive. All right, we're good. I feel like these rest area are so sketch to like get out because how they're like I don't know how their park is like slanted right and you really have to like just be careful when you're getting out but where I would where I left off I think I was talking about cutting my food right 
Yeah, I was cutting my food just because, you know, I was thinking about it. Hey, bullet. Remember that, bullet. Bullet transport. But, um, yeah, I was cutting on food because I was thinking, man, you know, I, I really just have seven months left until I hit my one year. And, you know, for me, when I hit my one year, I want big things to happen, you know, big, big changes. Like I said, I want to be an owner op, uh, so I'm really still going in that route, man, because I'm just, I just need more. <laughs> Let's just say that, right? Oh man, did I forget to put this on? It's all good. Let me just put my GPS really quick on my Zonar. I know I could just do my truck GPS, but I like having both, <laughs> just in case. Just in case anything could happen, right? Route to stop. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, man. Your boy's just been saving up lately. Honestly, I think, let's just say I have a good enough for a down payment and a little bit of money if like, if I break down. But that doesn't stop me from saving. I want to keep like saving and saving, saving because I want to get to the point where I really feel safe with my money, where I know I can do it, you know? So that's that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, you chasing, bruh. That's scary. Going to the Oregon Terminal. I don't think I have showed you guys the terminal there. <laughs> oh man, it's very small. Don't even expect much. It's, it's just like a regular yard. Oh, what? Why is it going slow, bro? When you know we have a coming uphill. I don't like that. I don't like going slow when I know up ahead there's an uphill because I know I'm, I'm gonna go even slower. So I try to like start my uphill with a good speed. You don't wanna be like 50, 55, and then you're about to go uphill. It's just not gonna push the truck as much, you know? But yeah, we're going to Oregon Terminal. It's going to be interesting. I can show you guys around. I hope it's not too... Uh, I hope it doesn't get too dark once I get there. But yeah, there's nothing really much to show. I'm just going to drop this trailer. I mean, I'm just going to shut down there as well. I mean, <laughs> why would I leave? Plus, I'll probably run out of hours by the time I get there. And I've been um, been calling small companies that are mainly owner operators. Uh, I wanted to be leased on to a company where there is no company driver because I've been doing a lot of research where a company, if a company has a company driver and also um, an owner operator, that kind of just you know in a way a lot of people are saying um you know these dis uh, dispatchers would definitely give the good load to the company and in a way the leftover load that are paying decent of course the owner operator is gonna get it it kind of makes sense i know it i know it has to be that way i mean come on if you if you own a company would you give the good load to yourself to your own company drivers or you would give it out to your owner operators in a way you'll kind of give it to your company drivers because i mean i'm pretty sure you make more out of the company drivers than the owner operators and i'm also looking um i'm looking who pays the more person uh, percentage and i have these two companies in mind that uh that i actually called already so definitely definitely just watching those two companies right now uh if i come up with something or if i find out about something else then we'll see i mean <laughs> right now i still got seven months seven months it is man it's been tough out here i mean i mean just the fact that you know I realized running 4,000 miles, it's so 
useless and that's me like really grinding you know just working hard and not getting paid uh, what I'm expecting to get paid it's kind of just sad I mean big part of that though is is tax I know uh, when you become an owner operator you'll become you're not gonna be w2 anymore I know it's gonna be 1099 I know they still pay taxes but there's a lot of things that you can write off and I feel like I don't know man we'll just see once I get there honestly <laughs> But we're just going up this mountain right here. Probably going to catch you guys maybe once we get closer to Portland. I know you guys already seen Portland, but the terminal, it's going to be 20 miles. Just 20 miles by the, uh, by the Portland. Portland um, downtown, I would say. You call that downtown, their city? I guess it is a downtown. I mean, they have a lot of buildings and... Um, you know, it just looks like a downtown to me. It looks like LA downtown, but with a river, pretty much. But yeah, man, uh, if you really want to save and you're a company driver, don't think that it's not possible to save. I was talking to this one driver, actually, one of my subscribers. <laughs> I actually met the dude in Washington. Man, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. I forgot your name I'm so I'm so sorry I'm so bad at that I should have asked your name and I mean I did ask for your name but I should have wrote it down somehow but that's gonna be my second subscriber that I met in person so that is really nice it was nice talking to you my man but I was talking to him man um I think he stays uh it's kind of like a local but he does a heavy haul for Swift He's based out of uh, Washington, and I met him in the Washington terminal. But we were talking, you know, I told him, you know, how are you liking it so far? Because he's also new. I think he has a, a month and a half in. So, yeah, and then he was telling me he doesn't really care about the money. He's, he cares more about the experience. I mean, I get that, right? But for a lot of us out here, we're doing it for the money, right? I mean, come on I wouldn't sacrifice this much if if you know if I if I don't need to save up as uh, you know where what I'm where I'm trying to be but yeah he was we were just talking about our you know kind of the pay and everything and he was telling me that you know there's no way he can save up with the amount of money that um, he's earning that might be true but there's also a way to cut down your needs or like for me like I said I you know I said this many times I cut down on my food and I could definitely see the difference of how much I've been you know blowing up uh, not blowing how I spend my money on and how much I'm saving on there's huge difference and I'm kind of happy about that and I'm kind of glad that you know I countered that video where the guy was uh, was saying I should be I should be okay by spending 100 to 200 bucks on food a month and it's possible it's possible my man so if you think about it how much money you're gonna be saving I mean as a truck driver we don't really do much here I mean we just drive we work you know, we don't really have much time to like spend our money on whatever stuff, you know, unless you eat a lot. I mean, it is what it is, but try to cut down if you eat a lot. I mean, you should be able to survive. Like really, uh, that's all I can say. Like I eat a lot, not gonna lie, but you can control it you can control it another thing guys I had a conversation with with Swift uh, but this time <laughs> I don't know man they were actually from oh 
on that. I forgot their names, but I'm pretty sure they handle. Um, I don't know if you guys know, Swift has YouTube channel. So it's those guys, it's those people that actually gave me a contact and they just wanted to um, ask about my YouTube channel. Don't get me wrong, at first I thought I was in trouble, but honestly guys, they just called me to say, you know, thank you for my honest feedback and they feel that if I feel this way, then there's many drivers that feel the same way, okay? So, in my head, I was like, okay, so you guys taking this as a positive way, which is good because I have no intention, I have no intention but to say the honest review, right? Like, if I'm experiencing something, I wanna just share that with, you know, with other people that are coming out here. And so, you know, we were just talking about it, blah, blah, blah. And they're looking to get, uh, they're looking to get improvements, you know, for all the things that I mentioned, uh, which is, which is really, really good to hear from a mega carrier. You know, you would expect that you will just post a, a video about a mega carrier and they will never see it. But Swift actually cares for their drivers I'm surprised and I'm thankful for that and like honestly thank you for you know those group of people that contacted me like I appreciated that and not only for me but it kind of does a favor for everybody so you know I'm just happy that they actually do care you know because at first I thought like you know we're just we're just numbers and we were actually talking about that and they're really working on you know when you call they would know your name <laughs> so I mean I feel like it's not a big deal but it was just something that I wanted to point out because you know since it's the mega carrier I know they have a lot of drivers I know it's hand it's it's probably hard to handle you know thousands of drivers so no hard feelings there Swift you know <laughs> I think it's just a normal thing where you become so big where your drivers are just I don't know man you know I don't want to say just workers because I know drivers are like uh, the main reason why the companies are still up honestly I mean without drivers uh, <laughs> I don't know what the company would do honestly let's be serio so that's that so it was a really nice conversation with them that's all I wanted to say and but yeah man just like that if you're having a trouble or you're having problems whatever company you're at you know it doesn't it doesn't matter if you're at Swift or you know whatever company you're at if you have a problem just state the problem tell them man be honest I mean no hard feelings don't don't just say you know the company sucks you know there's no company that is perfect definitely um, these companies are for sure are trying to you know be better themselves so in a way give them a chance you know but then do your part as well as a driver you know if you have any opinions or concerns don't be don't be scared to like let them know about it you know if anything Look at that, like Swift actually acknowledged it, you know. Swift actually appreciated that, you know, I was telling the truth about what I feel about the company. And yeah, man, one of the things that I, I co uh, complain about, you know, the bonus, you know, because they promised us 3,000 bonus. And man, they were able to fix it like that. And just one click, I got it, a full $3,000. So, don't be a, don't be scared. That's why. Also, when I was talking to the dude I met in Washington, the, uh, my subscriber, um, I told him, uh, "Do you ever check your pay stubs?" Because he was telling me, you know, he wasn't even making over a thousand dollars. So I was like, "Do you ever check your pay stubs?" You know, to make to make everything, uh, to double check everything. Because for me, I keep track of everything that I do. You know, the miles that I do. Um, just everything honestly uh 
just a simple like paper or a, a sticky notepad like that it could help i mean just write down your miles for that week that you did and compare it to your pay stub i mean pe people make mistakes i mean payroll come on especially if you're working at a mega carrier they will make mistakes so they can't be perfect especially when they have a lot of drivers expect that um there will be some mistakes in the, in your in your paste uh, on your paychecks so just be aware of that man like you're out here working you know you're not you're not here to work for free no one wants to work for free no one wants to sacrifice being away from home for free honestly if you're away from home bro come on make it worth it you're doing all that sacrifice anyways I gotta put my mask on the other side it's like bugging my feet <laughs> about mask man COVID I see, it seems like it's about to be over isn't it a lot I, I've seen like a lot of stores even like Pilot J loves some of the people don't even wear masks and they're not required anymore it, it's crazy I mean for me I would still wear a mask just you know I just want to feel safe I mean I know the mask is for is for like so you don't spread your own virus or whatever if you do have COVID but honestly I feel protected with masks <laughs> so I don't think I'll ever stop wearing masks until I know for sure COVID is gone it don't matter to me I'm gonna still wear it I feel like I got used to it in many ways you know every time I come in the, in the store it's like automatically I need a mask but yeah man I'm sorry if my topic is like all over the place but I like to talk about whatever pops in my head you know <laughs> oh man seems like it's about to rain in Oregon it's really dark sprinkling a little bit guys shout out to all the people that are you know about to make the sacrifice and to become a truck driver man salute to you bro like salute to all of you like really like you guys don't know how much sacrifice that has like you know has to deal with truck driving like it's a lot man i mean i got used to it i got my grill you get used to it you know i mean sometimes you still get butt uh butt hurt that um i'm not home for a month <laughs> but it is what it is man i mean yo i don't know i feel like you just gotta pull the trigger and just do it no complaints you know like why would you complain if if you're trying to get better at your life you know trying to get the get out of that nine to five job and be out here man you know there's there's so much opportunities out here i mean you can you can literally um what do you what's that what's that word ah if i think about that word I'm, I'm gonna mention it guys i can't think of the word it's been like 10 minutes i literally paused my my gopro <laughs> oh man but other words there's a lot like there's a lot of opportunities where you can succeed and go forward with your life you know like for me i i really really still want to be a pilot like i just can't think of one thing why i should not you know i just i just have to i know swift talked to me about it about my future plans and i told him you know well i didn't exactly told him but in a way in a way of oh it's raining now yeah uh curves guys we're doing some downhill up here i gotta focus because <laughs> sometimes i'm talking to you guys and next thing you know i'm over speeding i gotta watch it rain rain go oh that made it worse i knew it 
they never trust the wipers. I was at the shop. I should have changed my wipers. I don't think they're that good anymore. There you go. That's, that's a lot better, I guess. But, yeah, man. Swift was talking about, you know, my future. And they were, they were mentioning how they want to keep me, you know, until I retire. No hard feelings, Swift, but... I don't think I'm gonna be a company driver for the rest of my life. I just, I just can't. It doesn't matter if you guys increase my cents per mile by five cents. It's just not enough. Like you know, it's not the money that I'm looking for, and it's not the money that I'm satisfied. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just facts. If you guys are listening to this, then you know, at least you guys know the truth. I mean, it's kind of obvious too, like why people um, leave as a company driver. I mean, you know, they just wanna, they just wanna better. Ooh, you, you guys see that? You almost hit that car. But <clears throat> yeah, man, it's just no one's gonna really st gonna stay as a company driver unless, unless, all right, unless somebody out there is just content to where they are. I see a lot of uh, 2 million mile driver in Swift. A lot of them, honestly. So that, you know, that kind of just say that Swift, it's not really a bad company, as a lot of people say. It's really not, you guys. It, I know the pay, it just, it's just low, you know? I mean, uh, I mean, I guess if you stay, if you stay with Swift for many, many, many years, then you maybe you'll be standing at a, a very good pay rate but if you're looking at your first year to like maybe five years uh, it's hard man you gotta you gotta really hard like grind hard even I I you know I thought I was really gonna get at least 1500 take home for doing 4,000 miles nope I didn't even make 1500 take home. I made, all right guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, all right? I made almost 2400 gross for 4,000 miles. And I took home, I think almost 13. It was not 13, it was almost 1300 take home. So guys, just, just know that, like living in California maybe, they just took a chunk of my money you know that's why that's when i realized that it's just not worth doing 4,000 miles because i feel like once i pass 3,000 miles i'm pretty much just working for the government for free i think 3,000 miles you can you can do like 1100 take home i don't know i, re I don't remember anymore but it's it's somewhere around there, 3,000 miles, man. It's the sweet spot. 3,000 miles to like 3,200. You'll be taking home a thousand something. <clears throat> yeah, man. I was so tired that week. 4,000 miles. That thing was not a joke. <laughs> and I'm liking the Zonar so far. I mean, I've been having this for about a month now. And amazing you guys i mean jumping from a qualcomm to this you definitely like it uh, i mean if you're working at swift of course i think other companies have zonar as well but they have a different setup where it's not a tablet it's more like uh it looks like a tablet though i seen it on you on youtube because you know i was searching like how to do stuff in zonar but then um uh, they had a different zonar it was I don't know but it's not a tablet it's not a Samsung tablet it's just it just says zoner on it you know but if you're jumping from a Qualcomm to this you definitely like the GPS I know I told you guys it doesn't tell you um, information but um, by the time I was talking about the zonar the first time uh, I think it was just having a bug because right now it doesn't have a bug and it's actually showing me how many miles I have 
what time I'm gonna get there and how many more hours to go before I get there so that's really really like it's all you need basically you know and it runs smooth it doesn't run slow as the Qualcomm so that's a plus I mean that's the main thing why they probably wanted to you know get rid of Qualcomm because it's so slow it's slow bro and sometimes it's just it reboots you know by itself I don't know if my engine brake is louder than my voice but I hope not watch out for curbs watch out for curbs there you go driving in the rain it's the more chill especially listening to music while it's raining oh man can't get better than that oh why are you breaking so much bruh oh man I can't even wait why is he so what 34 bruh why dude come on man What is that guy doing, bro? I don't think that's safe. Slowing down that much? Uh-uh. Ooh. See? Told you. I wasn't paying attention and I was on 70. <laughs> oh, man. I got this though, I got this in under control. There's a couple of you guys asking if I can do a pre-trip video. I'm thinking um I'm thinking of doing it. I mean especially how Swift does it, maybe that could help a lot of drivers, you know, to study. But maybe I'm kind of rusty though. <laughs> it's not like okay, we do pre-trip right in a normal day. But we don't name the stuff like how we did in school, you know, like we don't really like look every each part of the truck, man. Like we walk around, we check, but we don't really like, you know, point out and then maybe there's some there's some parts that I forgot what, what the name. But I don't know. I, I if I do a video just just be nice because <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess up and I feel like I shouldn't do a video then if I'm gonna mess up because I don't want you guys to fail your CDL that is why I'm kind of thinking of even if I should do it or not because yeah it's kind of risky like I think the best bet is just to study your packet you know the packet that you guys get study it I mean, it's not hard, guys. If I passed it, you guys can pass it. If a lot of drivers pass it, come on. I was thinking, you know, like, I was overthinking too, like, when I was in school. I was like, man, this is too much to memorize. But honestly, it just, it goes with the flow, you know? Like, once you study it, you're gonna like, okay, that makes sense, so everything just start making sense the more you study it but if you don't study at all uh, I don't know bro I don't know man you might not get a good uh, DMV tester and fail you <laughs> the DMV tester that we had in Fontana man that dude was strict well he wasn't strict he was nice and all but when it comes to the real test oh boy he's not playing he won't even talk to you bro it's, it's scary i still remember my test especially when i failed that uh parallel parking oh man i was so sad i was so sad but don't let that um oh shit. don't don't let 
let that um discourage you because you get three tries and for the most part on your second try you're gonna ace it you're gonna ace that thing man so don't stop learning just keep learning it and you'll get it easy like I always say Ooh, that's a nice that's a nice car what is that it's a Toyota Ooh, that thing is in good shape bro I wonder what year that thing looks sick I don't know if you guys can see honestly because I know my GoPro it kind of like makes it all stretched out where you guys have a ultra wide view so I don't know if you guys saw that car it was sick man I like old school cars they look so badass they just look unique like compared to our new cars nowadays they still I don't know majority of our cars now they just look they just look regular cars you know especially we're transitioning to electric cars man so ugly even Tesla I'm not really a fan of Tesla I don't know next thing you know I own one <laughs> ah boy just kidding I don't know maybe I just don't I don't know because I feel like one of these days we're gonna have no choice but to have electric cars and if that's the case then I mean to pick out of all the electric cars I'll pick Tesla well it probably has the most decent design than other brand what is this guy 58 bro I don't to pay attention. I don't got no time to waste. The thing I noticed the most, a lot of truck drivers, they overspeed at least eight miles over the speed limit, right, in California. So they run like 63. And then in Oregon, speed limit is 60, and they go under 60. That, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense somebody can explain that please do because your boy over here is trying to learn you know <laughs> every single thing man it just doesn't make sense to me and now that I'm going like 65 which is five miles over 60 uh, speed limit now I look like I'm actually speeding but I'm not I'm just five miles over all right guys I just got to Portland <laughs> I'm surprised still not dark. Well, I guess it's summer. That makes sense though. Ooh, these tight curves, man, in I-5. You been here? You know what I'm talking about. Can't really go fast here. And it's also traffic all the time. Every time I come here, it's just traffic. It's just so, like, LA-wise, you know? <laughs> But we are 20 miles from our final, which is uh, Oregon Terminal, not too far. I was able to stop by real quick because I wanted to cook my rice. So when I stop, you know, I could just eat. I haven't ate all day. I mean, I'm super hungry right now. <laughs> I've just been driving, man, all day. 11 hours, pretty much. Can never, I can't ever get tired of like the smell of rice. You know, when you're cooking it, you can smell it. Especially, I'm in the truck. Man, that's all I can smell right now. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. I'm having a, I'm having a bacon cheddar hot dog. Is that what it is? I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's what I'm having. I got it um I got it from pilot I used one of my uh, I used some of my points because like I said guys I'm trying to be smart with my money now so you know if you don't know they do sell some stuff at pilot you know I didn't even know they sell spam there 
so I started buying like spam there so I don't really buy buy it from Walmart anymore because I mean if I can get it for free why not you know that's like spam is like what four dollars yeah. so I been stacking up my points and honestly since I ever since I started I just never use my points so I have like stack like I at least I have like $80 but not anymore but I had like $80 store credit it's insane man it's like free money basically you know I get my snacks at pilot uh, sometimes loves but I don't really have much points at loves because how their uh, points reward system works is like you just can't stack your points man elite unless you're a team driver team driving then it's possible to get that four points a gallon but once you start or once I'm most likely talking to like you know new new drivers that are gonna come out here you'll see what I'm talking about cuz loves man it's gonna take a long time before you even get four points a gallon and a pilot you just need to fill up like six times you'll you'll be at four points a gallon man big difference wow it's got a pretty at this time all right gotta switch lane though before i miss my exit go ahead car gotcha We good, we good. Honestly, the first time I came here, I was really excited. But now that I always come here, nothing excites me anymore. I kind of hate coming here because it's so tight and it's always traffic. At this time, uh, it's not that traffic, but usually, man, there's a lot of cars here. Uh, 45 miles an hour here. It's kind of hard to like maintain your speed here because there's like a lot of up and downs. So you just really pick up speed like quick. Honestly, I don't really have to go slow right now. I mean, yeah, it's not that traffic. But when it, there's a lot of cars, man, I'm, I'm really careful. <laughs> it's scary. I can only imagine like LA downtown. I haven't really like delivered in LA, which I'm surprised because you know I live SoCal and they just never sent me there. And my friend, he always comes there. Like it's weird, and he hates it. <laughs> oh man, what what is this guy doing? Is he sleepy? Y'all seen this? He's going 46, bruh. Can you wake up real quick. I right, get going, man. 55 and it's running 45 come on bro it's high for sure ah. i like being in the middle when it's like this because there's a lot of people like in and out of the ramp and i don't feel like slowing down man i like to keep it uh steady speed oh what the heck bro it's the red car again man look at him in the front bro come on He's holding the traffic, bro. I'm trying to get there before it gets too dark so I can do some backing for you guys. What the? Man, what is this? All right, I think it's time for me to go to the right. Yeah. Because these guys, seems like they've been smoking a lot. Like, dude, look how everyone's going and it's just these two cars right here, what? Bro, bro, wake up, bro. I want to talk about my points real quick. Man, your boy been doing such a great job. Guess what my points is? Guess what? Yep, yep. Yo, I got my points down to three points. Tell me that's not crazy. I went from a hundred to three points of safety points. Wow. 
I feel so proud. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 we're not exiting, we're not exiting. We gotta go left. All right, we get here. But yeah, man, my points went down to three points and I don't know what, but I feel like I'm driving the same as, you know, when I started, but maybe though, maybe I'm more cautious now, you know, when it comes to following distance, especially on curves, like, I'm so surprised, like, I have not gotten points in a while, which is really good, because that only tells me, you know, that I'm getting better, and I don't know, I'm just more careful now, I guess, I'm guessing, but I feel like, you know, I'm just driving the same as normal, but I guess you do get better by, you know, by, uh, just by driving a lot. So, which is good. It kind of tells you like your pro. Oh wait, I can't see nobody. I'm scared. I'm gonna go slow right here. I'm scared of doing these because what if it's like you know you're going fast and then there's like big traffic and you gotta hard like stop really fast. No, that's a no no, no no. Or exit, I think. Yep. Nah, don't need my blinkers. Forty miles. Exit. All right. 40 miles. I gotta be on the left lane, left lane, left lane now, left lane, left lane. Uh, is it only one lane? Oh, okay. I've been here a couple times and sometimes uh, I just, I still ask myself, like, bro, where do I go? <laughs> I just rely on my GPS, man. If it looks familiar, it looks familiar. If it doesn't, oh well. Yeah, I remember this now. There's an Amazon, um, what do you call it? There's an Amazon building where Amazon plane lands here and a lot of truck drivers, they pick up from there. Pretty cool, man. Amazon is so rich. That would be kind of cool. Imagine like being a pilot for Amazon. Oh. Guys. I GoPro died again and I had to really just uh, park right here just to switch out my batteries because like I said I want to do some backing for you guys I know it's been a while I did one earlier when I picked up this load but you know just to end this video I want to do some backing I'm starting to hate these GoPro batteries man I love GoPro but Man, they really need to do something with the battery. Like, what is wrong with them? Can't they, like, make good batteries? It literally, like, just good for, like, an hour or whatever. Maybe, like, even 45 minutes, you know? Almost to an hour and it just dies out. Yeah. I don't know, man. Something to do. And I wanted to show you guys the airport. Well, I was talking about the Amazon. But then I already missed it and I wasn't really gonna pull over into the middle of the side of the street just to switch out my batteries maybe my next video when I come out here I can show you guys but oh well it is what it is all right guys this is this is Oregon's terminal that is the main office if you guys ever come here uh yeah that's where the driver lounge as well this is where you park so you'll have to work you'll have to walk there if you ever want to go inside but it's kind of useless because i heard their showers are and um they're renovating it so there's really no point of going there unless you want snacks then they have snacks all right i forgot displays already honestly where do they put their loaded trailers would they have a sign Honestly, I'm gonna put it right there next to that Swift Reaper right there. Or honestly, yeah, I mean, somebody drop a loaded trailer there. Okay. Let me 
me just go around and quickly show you guys the the yard it looks pretty packed today i think last time i went here it wasn't this packed okay i'm trying to look for a loaded trailer so i know where they put them i'm not new blindside no no thanks no thank you i think yeah i'm gonna park where i saw that swift trailer there's a pull in right there i'm not gonna do a pull in that's that's kind of boring getting packed huh red tags means damage damage trailers that's pretty tight We're just gonna go there because yeah i don't know seems like you can put your loaded trailer anywhere i mean there there's there was no sign that i found that's what i'm gonna do beep pop beat up pop. all right uh, where was that I can park right here. Are these loaded trailers? Yeah, I'm gonna park right here, you guys. It looks a little bit challenging. Not really, but we're gonna do this one. All right. I hope we don't fail. <laughs> I like these kind of tight backing, man. Ugh right there hard right I hope this goes well right 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 good oh man more Oh man, that's too much. All right. Oh man, this is so ugly. We'll just have to keep doing this until we get it because I made it too much hard right and that's what happens all right am I gonna be good all right I have to get out of the boat I don't want to hit this guy yeah, I think we're good. To get out again. I think that's good. Keep going. Man, that was a fail. Let's take a peek. Oh, we good? All right. <laughs> Let me just fix it, man. All right. Go to. Let's make this to the driver's side so I can see. All right. 
hard left. We need to put it on the right. There you go. There you go. Alright guys, just like that, we are done. I'm just gonna drop this trailer and, you know, shut it down, get some sleep. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy my... A little bit of... Oh, what happened? Oh. I hope you guys enjoy that. A uh, little bit of, you know, back to trucking vlog. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's just been busy, man. Like I'm saying, it's just summer, man. I think it's just more busy than the winter. And also, you know, you got I got a new driver leader. It's just... She keeps me on working, you know. I mean, all in all, I have no complaints. I'm really happy that um, I'm finally actually, you know, working and working and working. Not like, you know, I'm always sitting. That's why before I had more time of, you know, taking videos. But now, you know, I, I still try to squeeze it in and uh, make it possible for you guys. Uh, as always, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Clock now.